Hello, you're listening to Nerd Bible Podcast, episode 115. 15? 115. 115. Always with me, George, and my um, non reluctant co host, but he's uh, never always in the same identity. James twice. Franco this week. James Franco. Oh, James Franco. I don't know why. From what movie are you, James Franco? Um, love you, Lisa. Oh, I love you, Lisa. You're, are you. Are you his character of Tommy Wiseau, or are you James Franco playing Tommy Wiseau oh, just opposite top, Tommy just... Wiseau, who plays Henry in the end credit scene? I'm just the first one. I'm Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Oh. Welcome. Oh, everyone. You know, we talk about nerdy stuff, all uh, the news, the movies. views, and reviews. <laughs> news, views, and reviews. Mm. That might catch on. So, um, we talk about. All the stuff to occupy your time while everyone's bored. You can only have six of you, unless the Disney Plus feature is But only make... in Canada. Oh, only, only in Canada. Right, right Do we second. not get it? No. You're no, going to no keep... Day, no day. <laughs> Please keep that voice up for the whole time. <laughs> no, 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 uh, <laughs> no, 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 Stand like fucking Manuel from 40 Towers. No, I've, I've seen half of that movie. I mean, I only see half the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I only see half movie. Half uh, movie. Uh, Tommy I, I Wiseau don't, edition. I don't really know. <laughs> I, I don't Is know. he Northern now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Jeff, was it? Rick, are you sure? Um, so should we jump Sorry. into some stuff? Because yeah, we on. have fun doing this yeah, now, go apparently. On, go on, go on. Go on. Um, we uh, what not really... Yoda? Uh, <laughs> Yoda, baby Yoda. Uh, Tommy, how are you? How have you been this week, my friend? Uh, well, Lisa broke up with me. I buy her flowers, then I find her with Harry. <laughs> in... G Peter, you're clumsy. <laughs> G Peter, oh, I don't know any other. Lines. I'm fed up with this world. <laughs> You're hey. my favorite customer. That's the one that sticks with hey, me. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> yes, thanks a lot. Bye. Why are you so hysterical? You're lying. I never hit you. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. It's not true. I did not hit her. I did not. It's not oh, true. hi, Mark. <laughs> it's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did, did not. not. Oh, hi, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Oh, we should get Tommy Wiseau on this. Mm. I'd love to do that. That'd be very cool. It would be, it would be something. Yeah. It would be cool. <laughs> what a story Why Why is he laughing It's like a really Terrible story uh, What are we talking about um, What have you been up to This week uh, Not watching The Room Not watching no. Disaster Artist um, Even though you should Watch both of those things Because they're great movies Well I say great I mean can not the bad first one, well, can, you, can you stream legally I say not bad Can what you one? stream The Room Because I haven't found it anywhere uh, If you order it off Of the website You can get a pair of Tommy Wiseau boxer shorts And a copy of The Room I don't know if you get them signed though. We oh. have to. We really well, need to. Was it in the shorts that. or the DVD or the Blu-ray? Both. <laughs> both. Yeah. Both. I think we should go to that. Like one of the when it's safe to do so. For yeah. Them to have the live viewings of um, go and 100%. meet him. Oh yes. Oh hi Tommy. You'll say subscribe to Pasty Ship, please. <laughs> like what? What is this? What is this oh, ship yeah. thing? <laughs> is it like YouTube? <laughs> He's got a YouTube channel where he plays games. Has he got a YouTube channel? Yeah. It's called the Tommy Y Show. <laughs> Oh God! It's cautious. fucking. He gets abducted by aliens and forced to play video games. As you do. I, mean, I think the first concept. the first one he does is Dark Souls. I think like it's really oh. fucking funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, why die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, oh. big thing is like four hundred levels above me. It take me most of my life to kill it, and then it respawn like five seconds later. <laughs> I hate Dark Souls. No, it's annoying. It's stupid. It's just a waste of your time. It's waste of your soul. It's damaging. It's a way, it gives you a Dark Soul. Kind of does. Yeah. Have you played much of Bloodborne? The PlayStation knockoff thing that they made. That it's only, I think, on PlayStation. No. I don't think it's meant to be as hard, but it's still irritating. Bloodborne. Pretty sure it's Bloodborne. Might be something else, I don't know. Can't remember. No, I've seen shit like that about. And I, those kind of games I just don't play, because no. I'm not good at them. And I don't hate myself enough. To punish yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like if I was really angry with myself, then I'd probably then play it. Do it. But yeah. also, I just you know, I don't think anyone deserves that kind of torture. Like who, no. if anyone, anyone generally, in en- if anyone like generally enjoys those games, let us know why because it's it fucking baffles me. Is it is it a therapy 
session? Is it is it therapeutic? Is it just self? Is it just self loathing? Is it the feeling of when you actually finally get to the end of it, you feel like there's a light at the other end of the tunnel? Is is it that type of experience? Yeah, it's because you've just died playing the game and you're being fucking reborn into being reborn into a new body and then fucking having to play Dark Souls. Or is it a definition of regeneration? God, do you reckon that's do you reckon that's what happened to the roof doctor? Maybe. Just kept playing fucking Bloodborne and Dark Souls, and she never got to the end of it. That's why she's why so. She's... That's why she's so angry. <laughs> yeah, she's never fucking completed one. <laughs> I wanted to play a game. God, oh. I'm nearly on. I'm nearly on the Jodie Whittaker because we like stopped watching like Doctor Who for a while, and then we picked up again last night because we finished the MCU. Um, Electric Boogaloo. End game was um, one favorite? of her favourites. I think. Yeah. Up there, Black Panther is her all-time favourite, and I fucking I dig that. That's pretty cool. I think it's Black um, Black Panther, Ant Man, Doctor Strange is her top three. Interesting. I'm like, Doctor it's Strange. nice to sort of yeah. like have that. D- it's diversity. a different opinion. It's... No, I'm not locking it at all. It's different. No. I, but I think Endgame's up there. I think Endgame's yeah. like number four. I think number five. Top Aven- five at least. Five's top five. Avengers Assemble. I think. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Mm. That's fine. But yeah, like we. I'm not um, alone preferring Endgame over Infinity War. Yeah, but yeah. I really. <laughs> yeah. I think just because it's a showpiece. Hi, we yeah. talk about Marvel all the time, and this is all we do now. Uh, <laughs> they're paying you off. No, I really wish they were. It's been our gimmicks since they were. One day. One, One day. day. They will. Get Kevin Feige on. Kevin? Yeah. Kevin, where's the check? Get Big Boss Kev, yeah. I imagine. Getting him on here. Tommy Wiseau and Kevin. That's the two things we've got to do to the channel. Tommy Wiseau is Moon Knight. Oh my god! Or I was thinking about this Whistler in Blade. That's Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine yeah. Mahershala Ali and like Academy Award winning actor? Yeah. And then his his fucking mentor Tommy Wiseau, because <laughs> he kind of looks like a vampire anyway. So it's like, I mean, yeah. And maybe he's a vampire. Why, why I don't know. We see. Morbius. Why can he be Morbius? A comic accurate. Morbius, Morbius is dad. Morbius yes. in yes. Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, this is Spider Man, based on the animated series version, but and in live action. He gets a pizza delivered to him by Tobey Maguire. Yes, pizza time. Pizza time. <laughs> oh god, Jesus! Oh, you're you're late. I'm not paying for those. <laughs> oh, that's a movie we need to. Do. That used to cringe me out. You know when he used to like having to pull the mops up to get in the thing. Yeah, and it was like pizza time. It's pizza like, time. You're late. I'm not paying for those. That was my um attempt at a. Uh, American action Spider-Man movie that we'll make one day you'll mess with one of us you'll mess with all, all of us. us that was really nice because it's like oh they kind of changed this because of you know events that unfortunately preceded that movie because mm. you know mm. 2001 was pretty crap for America mm. yeah horrible I didn't realise how long it took because I was like obviously because um, it was the anniversary of 9-11 and I was reading like yeah, it was the other day with you. I'm yeah. Oh, it's always like for our generation, especially. It's been sort of like it's been there, but like I was, oh God, uh, I what, was five at the time. I think. Uh, were you ninety eight? Ninety six. I would have been three. Like, yeah, three. Yeah, I've been three. <laughs> but like, every, like each sort of like year, like you get sort of more and more on it, and it's like it's just fucking. Mm, just, it never, it never stops. It's never gone being, away. Yeah, it, it is becoming horrible. more relevant as we're getting older. Yeah, in a way. Because I feel fucking those poor bloody people. Mm. But oh. yeah, because there was um, a video that popped up on Facebook of it, and just like how these people like sort of timeline in the day. One of them was in one of the towers. One of them was in their apartment. It's just like it's just Jeez. sometimes you're still watching them news clips. It's like you'd if people watch that now who had no idea what it was, be like, what movie is this? Exactly. Yeah, and it's like that'd be the scary thing. Give it like yeah. another couple decades from now, it will be people like, won't what know. Films this? Yeah, yeah, what films this? It's horrible. And I'm, mm. Do you know? What? I'm also glad. I'm glad, to my knowledge, they haven't made a movie about it. Shall we end the debate? Shall we? Because I haven't. I think yeah, they should. I, I think, that, that they but then people like be like, oh, well, they made films on World One. Yeah, because and mm, even that's still a. Oh. For people of that generation, don't tell me that there's a film about it. 2017 movie called 9-11. Oh, God. Yes. Who's in it? Um, Charlie Sheen. Of oh, fuck it. Of course. Of course Charlie Sheen. Whoopi Goldberg, it. Olga Fonda, Wood Harris. Is it a documentary one, though? It is. Or is it an actual, like... Action drama film directed by Martin Guigui. 
Guigui. G U I G U I. Guigui. It's it's strange that it's not even been twenty years. Like it's it still feels. Stage, it's based on the stage play Elevator by Patrick James Carson, which takes place during the September 11 attacks at the World Trade Center in New York. Jesus. And it was released in the United States on September the eighth, two thousand seventeen. Oh, thank God they didn't release it like three days later, because everyone would have no. been like, "This is poor taste." But even then. Mm. Because, like, what do you think of, like, stuff like that with, like, historical events then they make them into films? Because I know some... Because f- some things are always, like... Mm. They're sort of, like, free reign and other stuff's like, no, like, don't touch it. Like, you've got the tsunami thing from Boxing Day 2000 and whatever, whatever year it is for what, The Impossible. A film? What is that? Uh, the Impossible? Well, yeah. They did a with film about Ewan that Ewan McGregor one. and uh, Tom Holland and... Old. Is it old? I'm uh, guessing. 2012, Impossible. Impossible. I think. Yeah. Uh, like that's a really fucking shitty event, but like obviously, yeah, 2012, yeah. As yeah. much as time, the more longer time passes, and then it's deemed obviously more acceptable and stuff. The do day you, after tomorrow, that I one, thought you can say do it the day after. I was like, fucking hell, that's <laughs> savage. <laughs> do it, yeah, do it the day after it happened. No, um, the day after tomorrow is a disaster, sort of real life thing that happened, right? Disaster movie. I don't think the day after tomorrow happened. No, I'm pretty sure Tom Cruise didn't. Uh, J- do all those things. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Is Tom Cruise Which one it? am I thinking of? I don't know. Did is it like early 2000s? Okay, my one's based on the book. Okay. Um, not quite then. Oh, okay. well, I was going to say, like, I'm pretty sure The Day After Tomorrow hasn't happened yet. Right, and if book. it did, mm. pretty sure that we wouldn't exist because mm. I don't think podcasts <laughs> yeah. were needed in the apocalypse. No. <laughs> Especially because no one would be able to hear it. That's... that's oh, no. Yeah, but... um. <laughs> Survival yeah, film. I don't know. I'm now on the thing of survival films. I don't know if there's well, let's, true stories. Shall we skirt yeah, let's away, away from, from these kind of yeah, events? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, what happened here? Happier. Yeah. <sighs> I also decided, like, just yeah. to, you know, a quick, like, like a humorous note. Watch, because um, I'd actually put thumbnails on the podcast with the, um, now that we've got video, I don't know if you've noticed. Hello. Oh, and shit. The camera's gone out. What's, what's that red light, George? What's that? It's, it's the sniper. <laughs> Taking us out because we know too much about Marvel. Affleck's after me. <laughs> ben Affleck's after me. Oh, is that um um? What's the film? Foreigner. No, Accountant. 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 You seen it or haven't you? Ben Affleck's work baffles me. Yes. He very. He but yeah, he's one of his best performances. He, yeah. Fargo or Argo? What's the one with the? Oh no, Argo. Yeah, yeah. it's Fargo without the F. Fargo's it's silent. A, Fargo's a TV series. It, it's silent. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Fargo's you and McGregor. I think first really? season of it. Yeah, Ewan McGregor's in Fargo. I swear. Wow, that's which I didn't know. Fargo. Well, I was, never knew that. Fargo was a film from the sixties, done by the Coens, and then they did the series as well. I've gone. I've gone cross-eyed. Um, <laughs> yeah, but Argo, he directed. Affleck did. I haven't seen that one yet. I have. I saw that one because that's the one that got loads of Oscars, and I was like, "This is well, a rubbish. film." Rubbish. Yeah, you didn't it was like before it. I was very analytical, so I was like, mm, mm. "This is a film." Something. Things have happened. I shall. I shall return would later. You, yeah. Would you rewatch it? Oh yeah, I'd rewatch a lot of stuff that I was just like, "Yeah, that's all you, right." You were shrugged off as younger. Yeah. Because we can all agree the best film critically what, of all time of all time mm. is Thomas and the Magic Railroad. No bias. <laughs> God, that film's aged horribly. No. Jesus. But Alec Baldwin's in it, and that's great. Um, yeah, so I was doing the um, putting some actual thumbnails on it because we mm. changed all that, and we've changed this layout so there's more yeah. space. Look, we can wave yeah, now. Cause look, yeah. We're not tiny with the whole there, screen. Uh, there's, there's boxes. There's an episode number. Are we going to get, like, info cards where it says, like, you know, click near the end of the video, you get, like, a little... Don't forget to click below to subscribe yeah. to the official Pasty Sheep YouTube channel. We or should you... do one of those <laughs> with you dressed as Peter Capaldi. <laughs> Who are you Go, I'll be Clara. <laughs> Clara. Ooh. Clara, the hybrid. It's a hybrid. hybrid. <laughs> Subscribe to watch the podcast. <laughs> or I'll be. Um, I'll find you. Okay, you be as Clara. Do it in Peter Capaldi's voice. And I be Clara and I speak. Or whatever I way around speak. it is. I'm in Capaldi's body I and speak. I speak like Clara. There you go. <gasps> like Freaky Friday. Yep, swap it around. Ooh, yeah. fan fiction. Yeah, and I was like, I wear the same t shirt, like. 90% of the time. We don't do that anyway. Like the set, like, <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to mix it up because I have other clothes and I should just... Because normally, it's, normally it's at the front because it's like one of my new ones. So I'm just like, put that on, blah, blah, blah. 
Because mm, mm, normally, mm. like, I get in from work or I've been in all day, so I'm just like, oh, fucking whatever's easiest. So. This one. Yeah, convenient. Whatever's most convenient. Yeah, so I changed it up. Um, well, we spent 15 minutes rambling. Should we actually get into what we do in this <laughs> Absolutely fucking Absolutely nothing, yeah. What we do on this fucking show. Absolutely nothing. Um, right. What is it good hey, for? Hey, mini, mini, mo, are we? Um, we're going to leave um, the Mando to the endo. To the endo, eh? To the window. To the it's the big... Oh, oh. the forest moon of Endor. Mm. The sand people will be back, and in greater numbers. Oh, they will indeed. Um, the oldest bit of news we got is that um, Robert Battenbat... I Rob- thought that said brats. Our oh, bats. Have rats got a Our oh, bats. Robert Battenbat. Yeah, our oh, um, yeah. He tested positive for COVID-19, so production on the Batman Three halted. In, halted. 72 hours in, and then he found out he had it. Yeah, and but then they've been picking it up with um, doing as much stuff that they don't need him in as possible. Which I think that's good. what Matt yeah. Reeves said. Good, yeah. Um, but also then they're going to have to, if they, as if they weren't already going to take even more precautions because then it's mm. like it's been in and around there, so it's who's hung out with him, who's done scenes with him, who's done the makeup, the costume, who's had blah, a good, blah, blah, blah. Who's, who's had a good time with him. Good movie by him <laughs> as well. Think that? Good time? No. Watched it this morning on um, Netflix. The Lighthouse is quite good. Oh, it is brilliant. The lighthouse. Oh, I like how weird it is in black and white. Yeah, it, it works so mm. well. It's no, the lighthouse is one of the best things I've watched all year. Could it be? Hands down. I think. Could it be on the top? What did we do last time? Top ten of this. Did we do that last year? Because we're doing yeah, that again yeah, this year. Oh, this year's going to be interesting though, because it really hasn't been from twenty twenty alone. All right, we can technically count JoJo nineteen seventeen as twenty nineteen films. Oh, JoJo came out over here. Yeah, JoJo at the moment is top. Still, what in, all year round, Jojo's still your favourite? Yeah. Okay. Jojo's the best. It's definitely in there. Top five. Kill, <laughs> blend, burn down the house and blame Winston Churchill. Or negotiate. Or negotiate. I need to get that on fucking Blu-ray. 4K, yeah, Blu-ray. Blu-ray over here. Yeah. Oh, I think it's somewhere. I've seen it somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to find it. Um, yeah, he's got COVID-19 and we wish him a speedy recovery and hope the production. I know the show must go on, but it's almost like you maybe we should just no. wait to go back to that kind of thing, probably. But you can't because the money inside of everything. Like how Sony said last week, after we did last week's episodes, I read that Sony were refusing to do anything else until the whole situation. Yeah, was I tagged you in that died. thing, didn't I? No completely major tempo releases until mm. everything's died Normal. down. Which is as much as... I think Morbius and Venom 2 are going to be dog shit. It's going to be the new mutants for them. It's going to be absolutely nothing. It's, it's going to be, the film themselves are going to be okay at best, but then they're not going to have any consequences because everything would have been long gone. You know when um, Cletus Cassidy says there's going to be carnage, yeah. do you reckon like there's going to be, six, there's going to be six of them in, in one place and they're going to go, we, this seems like quite a sinister bunch of oh. six people. Sinister Six. six. Mm. Uh, and then we, as long as we don't have them in the hallway. Yeah. And then, like, sort of oh, the, the, hall, the hallway of fucking origin stories from Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 2. The hall of origin. Did you tell the boy about his father? Got, that we never got. Oh, fucking the frozen head of Norman Osborn for some reason. Uh, nah. That was when know. the world was a worse place than what it is right now. But well, it was <laughs> the world. The world is worse because of... Amazing Spider-Man 2. Because of Sony, yeah. <laughs> but it will be better because something will happen and they'll lose the rights and Marvel will get them full time. Yay! Wonder Woman 84 got delayed until Christmas day. this year. Christmas Day. Which open open your presents or go to the cinema. Oh, that's a heavy option. I don't know. <laughs> People might go because if, like, yeah, especially over here if there's restrictions and if it's open, it's which I doubt is going to be, yeah, like, if there's still yeah. restrictions of seeing people, we'll be like, well, we can just... Go to the cinema, do something different for Christmas. Yeah, as you get out of the house. Yeah. Mm. Well, there's actually something to do, which... I mean, cinemas, in my eyes, haven't been open on Christmas Day beforehand. I never certainly sat down Christmas Day... Then see it now! Christmas. I've never sat down on Christmas Day, opened me presents, eat my roast, roast and gone, right. Oh, roast spot. chicken icy. <laughs> Probably will be this year. Bag of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> an icy... All kinds of stuff. An icy flavoured roast chicken. Mm. Mm, no great chicken. Um, obviously unfortunate but understandable mm. I, I really hope the world's more back to normal in Christmas this year's yeah. been shit yes we've lost so much like I feel like so many people as well mm. not we, we I know the saying you know one born every minute one sort of one dies every minute but I feel like this year 
with names. It feels like since 2016, life's just been shit. But then we yeah. came along, so we you're, you're welcome, Canada. We, we are the light through the tunnel. The very everlasting daily life but that is a tunnel. Like it's, <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just shit. No, yeah. I don't get it. Um, I don't understand We it. lost so much like, from March to like now, because just as we were starting to gear up and almost go back to normal, then it's going to wind down reboot, again. Yeah. And then we're yeah. going to have to wait until like next year, hopefully. Early, you know, early as possible. Yeah, hopefully stuff does eventually start to get back to normal and everyone can live in safety and comfort and actually have money to get by. Yeah. The economy will be restored. It's going to take a long time. But we're not political, so we're not going to talk about it. No. Um, Screw you, politics. Yeah, so Wonder Woman, go see it if you feel safe. Don't Uh, feel obliged to go and see it just because people want your money. Because it's DC, I will. They've had a decent track record, and I kind of want to be there when they eventually hit the trifecta. Will they make a third good movie? (laughs) They did. Technically, because... Shazam, Birds of Prey, and then... Half of Aquaman. Fine, yeah. And right. Wonder Woman's very the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. very above average. So I'd say that class is the trifecta has been done. Yeah, all right, okay. Um, all right. Birds of Prey's great, so mm. I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, nice. Spider Man also got delayed filming till possibly winter 2021, even though it was due out that Christmas. Yeah, but why is I forgot why I, forgot, I saw I've seen the headlines all over the place, but I didn't read into it too much. I'm assuming just because I, is Morbius done? I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was because obviously Venom, Morbius, and then it'll be that mixed Spider-Man with um, wherever it comes in the MCU, depending on how mm. much of that they have to use as well. And yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just because everything's getting pushed back. That's sadly. Probably going to have the same fate, fate. Mm. meaning maybe a 2022, but then everything will balance out because all the films are, you know, we're, we're going to come out this year, we'll come out next year, and then next it's year we'll get the year, year. after. It's, it's going to be a crazy year. Eventually we'll all coalesce and be fine, but, you know, we're still, we're still getting more Tom Holland, that's the main thing. Tom Holland is in two Netflix, well, two Netflix films this month, or he's, he's had two more films this year. Devil All The Time came out today. On Netflix? Yeah. I will check that out because I want and to see that. I read something about, about Tom Holland that is I didn't Cherry? know he was in. Or is it that no. one with Daisy Ridley? Um, the Daisy Ridley one, yes. Um, the... Um, something. The, the something. The, I always oh, forget no. what it's called. <laughs> oh, no. I can't remember what that one is on top of my head. But what I won't ever forget is the, mm. when Netflix cancelled all the Marvel shows. <sighs> the bastards. But, then it, but obviously the um, it's nearly up. So the first, was it... Daredevil first. Was it Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Punish? No. Luke. It was Luke Cage, Iron Fist. Punisher was last. No. Yeah, what are you trying to ask? Jessica Jones was last, like, in terms of cancellation. So it was Luke Cage, Iron Iron Fist, Fist, Daredevil, Punisher, Jessica Jones. Jones, Jessica Jones was last, because it has the season to come out. Yes. Um, So this month, is when we start to have so it's a two Marvel year, are technically it's allowed to it's actually, a two year deal, isn't it? Yeah, to use the characters. So or um, they're going to at least negotiate when they can be on screen. Yeah, so they'll get the rights fully back because the agreement is two years between Boo-hoo. the end of the production of the Netflix Marvel agreement because it was a joint rights thing, the era. and they can either re- they can reboot or hopefully you know sort of soft reboot with. The same actors, mm. yeah, fingers crossed. And maybe please. we get a please. nice rounded finish off to some of those stories that we were please. so lovingly bullseye sort of teed season up. four, bullseye, or in the ball, Daredevil Disney Plus movie. I don't know. Or we just get Colin Farrell to play him again. <laughs> oh yeah, multiverse it. Get Affleck as a cameo. Oh, she's sleeping. Any, do you need anything else? More peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> More peanuts. Like he kills a woman by flicking a peanut into her open mouth. He's got a nut allergy. That's that's great bullseye. It would have been nice to see him like complete that art. More Vincent D'Onofrio, because we need that. Oh, the version of Kingpin we need. We're, he's forever Kingpin. I don't see anyone else being him. No, nah, not Big Show. Fuck off. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> no offence to you, Paul White, but uh, well, not today. Not today, son. <laughs> not today, fella. Um, I'd like to obviously see if, it's, if they're keeping one, which they... One apparently yeah. it's um, John Byrne for uh, Kristen Ritter and Charlie Cox are the ones they like definitely want mm. and definitely yeah definitely need to keep. But I would, if you're gonna do that, 
keep them all because if they're going to eventually do a defender star thing again, the chemistry is there between them. I feel like better scripts for both of them because Mike Colt. Mike Holt was not a bad actor. actor at all. No, I liked him as Luke he's, Cage. Yeah, he's been, yeah, he's been fantastic in the stuff he's been given. Mm. The writing, I feel like, has let him down, especially with the change of villains, like midway through season one. Yeah, no. And Iron Fist was really getting good in season two. Yeah, it started so off really shit. To it, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to rewatch them again. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I hate myself enough to do that. I've got the energy. Yeah, but um, do. You, from next year, we should maybe hear some rumours of whispers of because I assume they want to do them straight away because I have stuff planned, mm. but they'll have planned for the eventuality. They need, they need content on Disney Plus. In. They need content on Disney Plus. I'd watch. A no, Di- I'd watch Disney, Disney Plus. Oh, corporate overlords. Imagine, you know. Di- imagine Disney Plus like season four of Daredevil because they had That's it all planned. What I'm saying, just do it. Just keep the switch. Yeah, flick the switch. Don't tell do us when you do it. Just literally. Let Disney Plus users log in and then be like, "Hang on." No, like imagine so, like the day that it was like the, the agreement ran out, and then it was like, "Oh, mm. by the way, we before lockdown we managed to film this the whole time. season four of Daredevil, and it's out today." Exactly. Season the, four. The world will go nuts. But there's a lot of Disney Plus. There's a lot. It will come. It will come. Yeah. Whenever. Whatever way would be nice. People were saying a Punisher Blade crossover movie. Yeah. Because then you have John Berthold mm. sort of like the. Yeah, like, oh, I know him. That's the sort of the gateway into Blade for those who don't know him. He's like, we know that Punch is a dark character, especially from his show, which is fucking depressing. Yes. Oh, yeah, and I then you imagine. could be like, you know, some motherfuckers are always trying to ask it uphill. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliliant work from Wesley Snipes. Apart from when they CGI'd his eyes opening in Blade Trinity. Oh, I've heard so many things about Trinity. Because there's a scene where he didn't want to open his eyes, so they had to CGI him opening his eyes. As you do. As you do. Scary man. Did yeah. not want to fuck with him in a dark alley. No. Um, that, no. that. Um, no. Uh, apparently, Jonathan Majors is in Ant-Man, Ant-Man 3. Trez. Ant-Man yeah. and the Wasp 2. Ant-Man 3. Ant-Man and the something, something, something. Ant-Man enters the multiverse. Possibly <laughs> rumoured as Kang the Conqueror, who would... Yeah, be down for that. People would love to see, because obviously with time travel. Time travel! I was thinking, would it be like a Guardians 1 type situation where he's in a scene, like Thanos was, he's in a scene. Would you have him as the next big bad, or would you have Galactus? Mm. Maybe Kang... Is disrupts, Galactus is lucky? I don't know. Or don't disrupts know. time enough to allow Galactus to they, prey on the weak points. They go on, fight Galactus. They think, whatever phase this happens in, they defeat Six. Galactus. And then, uh, I don't know, they, they do like an Infinity War type ending where you think they've, it's over and it's won. And it's not planned to be a two-part type story. They think Galactus is gone and he's a CGI cloud and whatever. And then you just see... Nah, you, full you, man. Uh, not doing full, the full, yeah, no, no, he's going to die and turn into a cloud and then you'll just see a clock or something will freeze and it will rewind itself like Tenet, it will rewind. And then, there you go. And then Chris Merrill will come into the theatre pointing a gun at you telling you to go and watch mm-hmm. Tenet. And no sitting down. Yeah. No sitting down. Well, I think if you sit down in the cinema, if you're sitting, you're not paying attention to my film. Yeah, no sitting down. I, Chris Nolan, am the master of artistry. You didn't see it, did you? I haven't seen it yet, no. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, no. Why am I not surprised? I'll see it at some point. Look, you told everyone yeah. what, it, what it was about. That's what we need. Oh, but I didn't know. We got the, we didn't. Got the, you could have done spoilers. I don't care. Like, I'll see it. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not fussed. No, you, you've got time to see it. I'll, yeah, I'll let you off. You've got time to see it. I'll see, I'll see it eventually. It's just, you know. Eventually. When the home media release comes out, you'll just buy it on 4K and watch oh, it. Oh, fuck, I ain't buying it. I'll see it while I can just be like, right. I can make my mind up on it whether I like it or not and be like, mm. Mm. like I've got Interstellar for some reason. I, like I don't fucking like that movie. Didn't like Interstellar. It's I so you did. shit. Nah, it's so no. shit. It looks beautiful, mm. but it's. I'm a space man, Marv. The amount of times I've done that McConaughey impression. I liked the last half. Yeah, yeah. First time viewing, it was kind of all over the place for me. But I don't know. Yes. But that's Nolan for you. Um, Kang, maybe yes. Yeah, why not? Could he appear again? Lu- a la a la Loki, a la Loki style. Yeah. Or will he no... be in Loki? Because what is Loki going to be? About? All right, I know he's in different time periods. It's like Man on the Run. Yeah, almost like Catch Me If You but Can. But from what? I think it's like Catch Me If You Can in space. But from what? From uh, the federal. Saying, yeah, what's... what's the place where he's got the thing on? Like the time. Oh, die, die, die later. Time Force. Thing. Time Force Cop Man. Power yeah. Rangers Time Force thing. They're yeah. basically the people that um, disruptions in time and that. 
Like they uh, get you a bit, cause uh, you shouldn't have done that. It's going to be them the people. CIA like, celestial. Almost like I think yeah. Catch Me If You Can, but in space, but, right. with, but through time instead of just like Leonardo DiCaprio running around from airport to airport. Okay. Is that what that movie's about? I don't know. No, I think you're right. I haven't seen it, but I think you're right. I've seen the poster for it. That counts, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then you've seen half the movie in a poster. Tom Hanks is in it. Tom Hanks chases him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. People moan about the trailers giving too much information. Sometimes the posters give too <laughs> so much away. I saw him. Tom, it, was like, it was Tom Hanks. He told me, he was like, "That's me in that movie." I catch him. It's like, oh. thanks. <laughs> thanks. Cheers, thanks a lot, Tom. Um, Star Warsy stuff. Mm. Um, apparently, there is a Mace Windu project. In oh, I did not hear this. Production. Oh, oh goody. Well, what is Samuel reprising? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Donald Glover. <laughs> oh, Donald Glover. Childish Gambino as Mace Windu Jr. I Donald Glover. <laughs> Come fix this. I've got ice cream. Still recording? Because oh, the sun is so bright. Because we have to obviously anything. have the blind up. So I'm literally I'm like squinting into the TV. Like, is that still? Oh, yes, I'm... I can see the. I can see the thing. Um. Yes. Uh. What is it? What am I saying? Um, so there's heavy rumours uh, coming out of Lucasfilm that a, there is a Mace Windu project, whether that is a Disney Plus thing or series is probably the most likely because obviously we know that they sort of went, all right, we're going to put the anthology films on hold for now. Right, yes. And then right, with, yeah, with the Knights of the Old Republic or whatever the fuck they're going to do with Taika, which I hope it's Knights of the Old Republic. It'd be nice. Be, it'd be amazing, it'd especially be nice. if he, vo- he would voice something because that's what Taika does now. He's great. In everything. The revolution has begun. See you later, new Doug. <coughs> He's great in Mandalorian. New Doug. Yeah, uh, as IG88 knockoff. Yeah. Or is yeah. it IG11? Which yeah, whatever it's 11, one's it's 11, yeah. Whatever one's yeah. not from the expanded media in it. And the Lego games. Empire Strikes Back. He's in Yeah, he's he's in the one background shot. of the he's Bounty Hunters. Shot. Yeah, yeah. One of those. One I think those. I think it's 88 and 11 is the the Tyco approved. I 88 slash 11. Yeah. You decide. 88 um, plus 11. Uh, Mace Windu Project. Oh, young yeah. Mace Windu, but um, adult Mace Windu will be reprised in some small capacity. Oh, we don't know cool. exactly what, but we'll, Sam Jackson will be... In it Some what? I imagine to sort of bridge the end of it, maybe, if it's mm. like sort of him either being discovered when as a Jedi. It, when is it set? Is it is it a prequel before... Is this how he joined the Jedi Order? I think so. Because it's, really? It's, it's rumoured to be him as a young... So like young adult... Oh, like, okay. like teen sort Jesus of thing. Jesus Christ. So I'm assuming it, like, it's going to be a different actor for most of it. Yeah. Sam He's Jackson to maybe uh, do the tie in the ins for, you know. No? Yeah. Like, oh, oh my lightsaber's purple. I love Mace Wind. Like, yeah. Samuel Jackson's always been desperate to come back. Yeah. Like, when rumours that he would pop up as a voice in, like, Rebels and stuff like that. He was over but, the moon and he was like, yes. So, like, Fucking Mace Windu, like, I'd love to bring him back. Like, I know there's possibility that all these characters we thought were dead, but, you know, we can kill him off again later. Because, obviously, he dies eventually. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, whether it's from out the window, because he's in that really shit film that they made, where he's, like, talking to him, like all the false people are. Oh, um... But not... What was that called? The, um, the... The, uh, the, the, the J- Demise the of Skywalker. Cut, the, yeah, the JJ cut of The Demise of Skywalker. That's right. It's yeah. a good name. Why didn't we think of that in fucking December? <laughs> the, Why are we thinking that? The demise that now? of Skywalker. Yeah, it really should have been the demise of Skywalker. Did I show you that video of why they've all got the wrong name? Yes. Yes. All, all the films have got the wrong names. Yeah. Because it was someone on TikTok and they put the posters up and they went, it was just a smart ass guy. It made very good points. And he was just like, and he rearranged them all, didn't he? Yeah, and it was the last one was Phantom Menace. Yeah, the first one was Rise of Skywalker. It was like, it does make yes. so much more sense. Yeah. Yeah. The Rise of Skywalker, because it's Anakin was the chosen one. It's like, yeah, you go Rise of Skywalker. Phantom Menace, because you don't know. All right, Palpatine's the background influence. We all right, we, all right, we already knew Palpatine was going to be in it, but he is the Phantom in the background. It should have been dead. Mm-hmm. Um, and then however the rest of the orders go. The dyad of some shit. <laughs> Last Jedi was episode three? It was episode five. Instead of Empire yeah. Strike, it was... The Last Jedi. What was episode six then? Episode six. Well, no, episode six was The Last Jedi. And Possibly. Uh, what would have been Attack of the Clones? I don't know. Quickly um, Let's see if I can somehow search find that it. video, but turn the volume off so we don't get done for copyright. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it makes me do it, yeah, because then maybe it will tie into the Obi-Wan Kenobi stuff. 
and mm. the Cassian Ant. We could tie it into this weird little Star Wars universe we're getting in the TV shows, which would be nice to get a break from the movies and maybe see what TV can offer us because Mandalorian's definitely been the best thing to come out of... Oh, the, the, the Disney the, era. The Disney era of yeah. Star Wars, 100%. Followed closely by Last Jedi and then Force Awakens because that was, that was a thing. Force Awakens was a thing. Episode two is Revenge of the Sith. And then that's Attack of the Clones because the clones attack the Jedi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. A New Hope, but then A New Hope is... Return, Return of the, the Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Then that's... The Empire Strikes Back is... The Force, Force Awakens. Awakens. Yeah, yeah, that makes so much more sense. It's Last Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. And then then seven is A New Hope. Empire, Empire Strikes, Strikes Back. Back. Oh. Yeah. First Order to yeah. And then A New Hope? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's Rey and then it's Phantom Menace. That doesn't make so much more sense. It works. Well done. I don't know if you're the original credit founder, but credit to you anyway, Zeblon Dyak. Oh, no, fake Disney facts on TikTok. Well done, you. Well done, Zeblon you Dyak. <laughs> that does sound like an evil Sith Lord. Zeblon Dyak. Did I ever mm. tell you the story of Darth Zeblon Dyak? <laughs> Darth Zebby Zeb. <laughs> Darth Plague of the Wise. Zebedee doo da, zebedee da. Should we talk about the man, the man thing, the main the man thing, thing. The, the man, man thing, which is a movie. It's a great movie. Maybe that's Yoda species. Maybe he's just the man mm. thing. Man <laughs> thing, I am. <laughs> man thing is green. Oh. Yeah, ground control to the, major tone. The main attraction this season, this yeah. as in the autumn season, I imagine. As in this episode season. Well, this episode season. <laughs> yeah. We've been picked up by ABC. Season, wh- where would we be in terms of our... Season one. This is still season one. We're so season... Everything we've done is season one. Yeah. It's we're... been two and a half year long show, season one still. Yeah. Thousand episodes is, the end, of, two. is the end of season one. <laughs> Great. Episode thousand and one is season two, two and then that's five episodes because we'll do a mini series. I thought we were doing TV series, not an anime. Then we'll do, then we'll do, <laughs> then an anime. Then we'll do a mini series of five episodes and then series three will start. And then our movie, spin-off movie, will come after that about Matt. Yeah, and that'll be three episodes back to back. It's a one movie, all right. Yeah. Trilogy, if you are dyad. <laughs> God, that shit films in my head, Connor. Talk to me about The Mandalorian Season 2, which comes out on Disney+. Plus. I don't know about it. October 30th, 2020. To, a, is, to a home near you. Which is one, two, about three... Like yeah, about six. six weeks. About six, seven-ish weeks away. Mm. Um, Tell us the story of this piece of shit. From what we know. Um, well, so you have a guy that may or may not look like Django. At, or no, more Django, because it's silver armour and Boba Fett's full on green. Yeah. He looks more like Django Fett. Mm-hmm. I thought you meant like Django... Like, I thought you were talking about like Django Unchained. I was like... <laughs> he definitely doesn't he look, look like Jamie, Jamie Fox. Fox. <laughs> Jamie Fox no. wasn't in space. As Pedro, far as we know, he might be. Pedro Pascal didn't look, don't look like Jamie Fox. He is Pedro Pascal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Narcos in space, in armour, inspired by the Australian bloke who did Django Fett. I don't know what his name is. Oh, Tamara Morrison. Yes. So I think I got that right. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you're all right. Yeah. So Pedro Pascal, he's no good to me, Dave. In Tamara Morrison's armor, slightly repainted, looking after a old, old slash new prop from the Empire Strikes Back set for the original Yoda puppet. But they've CGI'd it to make it look great, and it's eventually them buddy copying space on paper. Don't touch anything. Season one of Mandalorian was <laughs> amazing. Like we said, the best, best thing of yeah. the Disney Star Wars era. So much better than we all thought it was going to be. And yes. more. And mm. we'll have to do, if I was better prepared, I would say we would do it. But we'll do, when like over, episode like one drops of season two, we'll do, because um, we've been saying for ages we're going to do a proper Mandalorian episode. So that's when, that's when we'll do it. Mm. Um, brief thoughts on the story and everything in season one of Mandalorian. Brief thoughts. Just... Without get, getting rid of too much content. Well, each episode's standalone y, so each episode literally had a beginning, like the middle act, and then an end. And it was all in 40 minutes, wasn't it? About 40 ish. They all range, because like, there was, I think the yeah. opening was like 50, and then yeah, it was ranged, yeah. ranged over half an hour to an hour, oh, really? I believe. Because yeah. yeah, there's some that is like 
quite a bit shorter, and there's some that are just like drag on for non. Mm. I think the weakest one I remember I think, was yeah. Like, Sorry, you can you can. Episode five, I think, was the that's the one the I remember one the least. Long. Mm. Yeah, I, I think that was a long one. But I think they all so it's dependent on the pacing. Is there like I like that they're all not just like we've either got to cut more out or fill more in. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's yeah. literally like this is how long the episode is. This is how long it feels. So because each is episode we... is about something different. It's not necessarily a. Oh, quick, man! It's, it's not like Baby Yoda's getting squashed by a boulder. What is Django Fett gonna do? I call him Django Fett. What is he gonna what do? Pedro Pascal's moustache that not he doesn't have gonna do. It's it's not a cliffhanger each no. episode, which I like. Yeah, it's not like Art Kevy. It's just standalone, no. um, described as like it's rebel, a pop up storybook because it's literally just visual. It is it's visual, just yeah. you know, it's gorgeous, like the sets and the fr- um, rear production is the, on the set the way they made it, which is. Um, apparently going to be used in um, the, the Obi Wan the Obi Wan series and the Mandalorian technology. Yeah, maybe yeah. I think in the Cassian Andor one because I don't know yeah. when that's that's been announced for ages. I don't know when they're going to do that. That's kind of in the air. Yeah, that's got to be like on the back burner of all their stuff. What did probably. we see in this? Oh, um, quickly, this? quickly. Um, season mm-hmm. one, I really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my favorite things I've seen this year because that's I started watching it. When it was, I said we got Disney Plus this year, didn't we? <laughs> I started watching when Disney Plus came out late last year, but obviously that was mm. two episodes at once we got, and then it was weekly, and then I waited till till it was Disney over because I was yeah. watching the we still behind, got in March, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, behind the scenes documentary series, which I got, which I got more out of, and then of since then got back into like right, I've seen how they made it, I want to completely died. immerse myself in like what it looks like and know the where it's come from. I did the totally legal thing and watched it on Netflix approved websites every week because I thought I was American and I thought I could do that. I yeah, but now you can I watch it like part of the world. But yeah, so and then as soon as March came out I did sort of briefly glimmering back into that universe but I haven't watched it fully but now because it literally is say six weeks away I'm going to Dive deep into that. We'll have to 100%. get back into it for fully episode whatever number it will be when um, one we hit the... one nine or one twenty something like that. Yeah. That sounds about right. Or one twenty one at the latest, something like that. Yeah, is your microphone still working? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sometimes just the like, <clears throat> levels are like because mm. you can't adjust these ones because we don't have On the. the no. They just don't adjust. Uh, yes, uh, season two. What did we see in the trailer? Sasha Banks, who I saw. Um, yeah. Possibly, no. possibly see. <laughs> like, you know who Sasha Banks is. <laughs> oh, uh, I, read, I, I read the article on it. The mysterious lady at the beginning. Yeah. Who, to non wrestling fans, yeah, female wrestler cast as possibly Sabine. She's the. Ooh. She's the runner up, supposedly, for Sabine in live action. Oh, which having seen Rebels, I think would work. That I'm not against. I I'm very did. much sort yeah. of like that's yeah because we could be completely wrong. She might just be a background character for that one episode. Or no, we're gonna no, we're gonna say that we, it definitely is Sabine, one hundred percent. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, audience. We say what we want. And you, the audience. It's our time. No, um, it's no. just that's the highly theorized, like educated guess. If she's going to be any more than that one scene, which I very much think, because um, if it wasn't a big deal, they wouldn't have announced her. Um, yeah. But yeah, Sabine, hopefully, ties into more of the Mandalorian background and maybe could possibly dive deeper into Mr. Bridger. And Well, apparently Dark Saber is going to be sort of not like no. an arc, but like a focus point of like, how did it get here? Where did it come from? Blah, blah, blah. Which obviously we know the background of its mythology from that's Rebels, from Rebels and, and all the previous Clone Wars and animation. stuff like that. Yeah, because mm. that's how season one ended, didn't it? It was it was uh, what was his name? Goff Midian, something like that. Goff Midian, something stupid. It's like been that. A, like, and he ended up with him in the tie fight. You know what I, went, did? I, I watched it and then immediately deleted it from my memory. I was like, this was really fun. I've forgotten everyone's name. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was. I do that on a lot yeah. of things. Like unless I watch it over and over again, and it no, embeds feel, itself in my. But I feel like with the Mandalorian, that was kind of like, not its issue, but like you say, you did watch it and then you forgot it kind of afterwards. Apart from the yeah, ending, I've but I, I've enjoyed it. I've there's no doubt about it. That I like. I have this warm, fuzzy sort of comfort feeling of like this is the this Star. Is this is this is the Star mm. Wars for me. Mm. Like this is everything I sort of wanted it. And did almost you, did you ever play the Bounty Hunter video game? No. 
it's on. I think it was on PlayStation Four. I think they bought it out of one of the few PlayStation classics or whatever it is. Um, it's that that side of Star Wars, mm-hmm. which they didn't go too in depth with, but obviously yeah. in live action, it's just cool. Oh, that but it's that part of Star Wars which doesn't. Is it like get an expanded. arcade game essentially? Yeah, it's, but it's still you know you start at point A, you got to get to point B, and then level ends, you go to the next level. It's it's still linear. Do, 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 do. Is it side scroller or is it first person or third? Third, third person. Jan- you actually are Django Fett flying in these little two pistol wielding jetpacks. I would have a Mandalorian game, man. It'd be cool. A VR game. Build your crew. Build your crew. Yeah. And do a heist. Or I'd, I'd or see a VR demo solo, like. and then you just get Donald Glover to do the narration. Mmm. Or crossover. Yeah, because... Like, a video game crossover. Hmm. Do you remember when they were going to make a video game of Inception? Like, Chris and yeah, I was I like, see, we were definitely yeah. going to do that. And then uh, since 2011, we've had nothing. Nothing. So I was like, oh, well. Assuming we're just never going to get that. Or oh, well. Tenet will get the video game. Like, ew, everything I was going to do like, was always just coming out because they're all just linked. Because <laughs> my name's Christopher Nolan yeah. and I'm a fucking prick. <laughs> she made clear. No, I wouldn't be surprised there's a Tenet game now. Turn again confirmed. <laughs> We're never going to be allowed to interview Chris Nolan. I wouldn't want to. I know you wouldn't want to. I'd be like, look, I like, I your, just, mo- I I like your move. I like your movies. Why are you a really angry raisin with a wig on? <laughs> with a Lego stud piece wig on. <laughs> this is my angry hair today because someone's sitting down. Oh, no, I'll, I'll just apologise to him half the time if he's watched our channel. Nolan, if you are watching, I'd apologise for this, Nolan. this buffoon's behaviour. Nolan. You should be disgraced, ashamed. Nah, <laughs> fuck him. Um, fuck him. Okay. He makes enough money. He's not going to listen to us. No. We stopped getting subscribers ninety days ago. <laughs> please subscribe, Chris. Patreon, please. Patreon soon. Co-founder. Possibly, Patreon, possibly Chris. next year, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We could do once we get a bit more. Um, Act- activity. Um, <laughs> well, we saw a sort of a first sort of look at C, really, because we don't count the bit in. Demise of shit skyscraper. No, exactly. Yeah, the skyscraper. Yeah, we don't count, no. Um, no. Because, like, it was a big sort of almost, like, steampunky looking yeah. imperial cruiser sort of thing that's yes. on the water. It and Mando's me, there. With... Thinking of it, it reminded me of, like, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, just in space. Or very syndicate-y. Yeah, in space. Yeah. Syndicate in space! space. Quarantine for two weeks. <laughs> <clears throat> it looks great it looks beautiful it looks mysterious I have no idea what's going on and I just want to find out I it's just want to watch it it's the I want to watch it in my eyeballs trailer. it doesn't give you it gives you information without telling you what it is and it's all from different bits of the episode that all can't be from one episode if each episode's like that Jesus Christ you've got the freaking snow say snow speeders you've got freaking scout troopers on the little each one's in speeders. a different biome Pew. Yeah, you've got so many going on in that one episode you've got spaceships you've got TIE fighters you've got if that all was from one episode then Jesus Christ but they won't. That's and all from different bits. Do you know what we do now, though? It's going to look great. Have we mm. got confirmation of all the directors on it yet? Because I know Peyton Reed's done one. Um, because he put a picture on Instagram. And I'm assuming Favreau and Fillion will be... Oh, um, isn't he in it? Or Nathan Fillion? Isn't he actually in it? Or was he just working on it? I don't know. I don't know. Google me. I just thought he was in it. Uh, where are we? Will Ezra be in season two? Will Google? I can't I don't know. That. Will he or won't he? Mm. Googling the things he'll see on the Mandalorian's knees. That's just John Favreau, according to Wikipedia. Just John Favreau. Just, just John Favreau. It doesn't say about any. I like that he does the opening and then. What did Dave. Dave. What did Big, da- Dave. What did Big Dave direct? Like, like he did Filoni. One. Filoni. Yeah, Filoni. Um, why did I say Cycle. Fillion? Filoni. Uh, I thought you'd say freaking The Walking Dead guy, Dave Vinoy, who was in The Voice of Lee. Peyton Reed's done one, so. Taika Waititi, Deborah Reed. Chow, Rick Famuyiwa. Yeah. Uh, Dave Filoni did episode five. One I don't remember like. Who did. Who did. Bryce the finale? Dennis Howards did one. Uh, the uh, finale was Taika. I'd get Taika back for another one. I'd get. I'd get. I would have all of them back, but I like the sort of fact they're sort of going to have other people. So if um, we only did the pilot. If we're doing the thing of like also stealing an MCU on like here and there, um, the Russo brothers, please. Oh please, 
Yes, everything with their name on it will sell. The Russo brothers in space! In space. Again, because a lot of Infinity War is in and around the thing that's known as... Space, space. and time. They, yeah, time one day. That'll be a phase five property. They'll get to time soon. Time. Am I... The time's gone. Oh, Taika, Deborah Chow. Deborah Chow's on the nice. Fam- 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 Yeah. Dave Filoni, Bryce Dallas Howard did episode she, yeah. four. She was, she did a good one. Watch the behind the scenes thing on it; it's really yeah. fucking good. I keep saying I will, I will now because we're in, we're in kind of near the end game. This is the end game. We're now. in the penultimate. Um, who uh, else? If we're gonna just you know steal them, do you know who I'd like to see one? Right Andy Machete. Why not? Yeah, because like we yeah. said, horror directors are very visual. But he's good and with visceral. characters. He's good mm. with characters as well. James Gunn. Gunn, yeah, because he'd be wacky. Um, and he just loves ensemble shit. I can't think of directors for a geeky. Tarantino, no. <laughs> Tarantino. I wouldn't say no to a Tarantino. No, it'd be, it's Wild West. He's done all right. Space, Space West. Wild West. And Space, Space Wild West. Yeah. Would this make up for the fact that his <clears throat> Star Trek maybe will never get made? Probably not, no. There you go. No. Star Trek in space, but the better Edgar one. Edgar Wright. Ooh. Edgar Wright. Serious. That would be the free, bollocks on Disney to get him back. Season three opening or something. Yeah. Edgar Wright could do a random episode, yeah. Jesus, can you imagine the balls on him to get him back and be like, yeah, um, we kind of fucked you up. Marvel kind of fucked you off, but come to Star Wars. <laughs> come I know we're Wars. the same company, but it's like we're, we're trying to get better than them, so this will be one over on them. Um, mm. I'd also say, um, not just seeing all, all the MCU ones, but Ryan Coogler. Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, Coogler. Scott mm. Derrickson. Who did, who did he do again? Strange. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, Very yeah, visual. Visual guy, yes. Another horror. And Sam Raimi? Sam Raimi. Oh. Um, I'm just trying to think of people now. But I'm just, yeah, trying to think of directors. Um, David Leach. David Leach. David Cronenberg. <laughs> Cronenberg, Morty. David Cronenberg. Who um, directed John Wick 1? Oh. Because uh, he was... Yeah, the guy who did Deadpool. Um, he's worked on Deadpool and... He, he did son. Deadpool 2. No. <clears throat> Chad. Chad someone, isn't it? Yeah. Chad. Chad. Whatever his name is. Chad Stella, Del Helsky. Stan Helsky. Yeah. Because Leach did Deadpool 2 and John Wick 3 or 2. One of them he did. Where are we? M. Night Shyamalan directs the most boring. Derek Colstad. Did Derek Colstad. The second one. And then Leach did third? I'm guessing so. Mm. John Wick 3 series fucking don't want to go to the series John Wick 3 he's googling John Wick on his phone no it's directed by Chad but written by Derek no David Lee didn't do any John Wick he no. must have done He's. I swear he's in one of them in one of it he does one of them no not from google what? him quick <laughs> what's need his name David O. what's his name L-E-I-T-C-H L-E-I Letterman, no. David L E I, yeah. It's flip it. What does it say? David who? What's his name? That one. Oh, David Leach. Yeah, David Leach. Um, he's. Oh, he co-directed that with Chad, the first John Wick. Uh, okay. Okay. He didn't say that on the Wikipedia yeah, page. Fast and Furious, Deadpool Two, Charlize Theron, Atomic Blonde. Right. That's Did... basically female John Wick. And Hobson Shaw. Cobra Kai. Have you watched Cobra Kai? No, because apparently it's not very good. But then it's because it was a originally a YouTube production, so now it's going on Netflix for season three or f- whatever it is. So because it was a YouTube mm. Red production, so the, yeah, but then they're yeah, all yeah, now I, free I to watch. Did, I thought they did shorts. I thought it's Cobra Kai shorts, and then it got big no, enough a whole to series, do a series. Because there was a um, uh, Smash the Media, a different podcast that hasn't been on for a while, but it should be because it's great. Um, Guy and Danny, they talked about it years ago, I remember it, and it was like, oh, sounds interesting, and they just never interested me enough to, you know, pay for YouTube premium stuff. Mm. So, say la vie. Say la vie. <laughs> and, uh, all in all, I think we could say, uh, Mandalorian Season 2, I think the point of what our discussion was before we just started Googling yeah, random directors and names. I feel like, that's, literally, can't we just call this episode Google, because... That's all we feel like I've done. Who directed Deadpool 1? It was... I'm trying to... Oh. Uh, no, I don't think it was Leech. No, because he came on... It was another geezer. One. Can't think who he did. <sighs> what, did he do? what did he do, mate? 
Who are you? Something. Get Guy Ritchie. Tim Miller. Me. Tim Miller. That's the one. <laughs> Tim Miller. Of Terminator, decent movie. Deadpool two, Deadpool one, really decent movie. Oh, Deadpool and 1, he's brilliant. essentially mm. it was the video games guy, wasn't he? Oh, he, what, he did the Deadpool game, did he? No, he did, like, oh. so he was mainly directing cutscenes and action in video games, I think. I'm not sure, because it wasn't... He studied illustration Whereas, and animation in college. Yeah. So, like, that's why the special effects in his movies look great, because he knows... Oh, because he, he was the special effects, super, visual effects, super fast for Mass Effect, and Star Wars, The Old Republic, the MMO one. Halo Wars, he was the creative director for Halo. So, yeah, he's kind of been in the gaming scene. Yeah. And, while, and Leech and that are stunt coordinators so that's why yeah. they're so good at practical Effects, stuff because they're, they've been in the scene bring those guys into why the Mandalorian we season cast, 2 we've, we've, we've just cast we've just hired Mandalorian. 20 million directors yeah. for 8 episodes so yeah, and more to come good luck we'll yeah. probably find that out later on and then we'll obviously get into Mandalorian in about 6 weeks time we'll talk about season 1 give a whole actual big review on it and, and get all you viewers it. prepared yeah, for send the, in... For the masterpiece, that will be season two. So you'll have to send in stuff so we can read it. But um, that's it for another episode of Nerd Bible Podcast. Um, thanks, as always, to Connor. Thank you. And, and, and I'm here. Thank you, Lisa. And I'm also here. Um, if you want to get in contact with us throughout the week, it's at Pasty Sheep across Twitter and Instagram. If you want to Which send us stuff... on screen now. To, if you want to send us stuff to read out... Or um, questions, anything you want us to talk about or just want to get your opinion across, you can send those lovely emails to... NerdBibleContact at gmail.com and Every email makes all the difference. Al- and as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and... and share. Share it, yes. Sharing so help is us caring. Grow, because we're sort of stuck. We need to go again. We're in Let's a ro- go. We're, we're, we're evolving. Yeah. <laughs> we're evolving Ultron and wants evolving. us to evolve. Right, yeah. Ultron wants us to evolve. In said meantime, um, thank you very much, and we'll see you next week, next week for more, more, more paste. <laughs>